We use AutoCAD and other software programs to help us create construction documents more efficiently and more accurately. That means that whatever we draw or design on the computer must have a way to be shown on paper. That's where printing or plotting comes in. AutoCAD calls printing plotting and plotting printing, so they both go hand in hand. It comes from the way lines and arcs were once drawn on the board. They were plotted. A drafter would plot points and connect the dots with a straight edge. Then the term stuck, especially when pen plotters were used. Nowadays, we typically use inkjets and laser printers for most of our plotting or printing needs. So believe it or not, printing and AutoCAD drawing can be very difficult to get exactly right. The reason is that there are so many different settings involved and ways to plot that it can get confusing. Also, the terms printing and plotting are nowadays synonymous with each other. So if I say one or say the other, I mean the same thing. We're trying to get our AutoCAD drawing on paper. This video will stay away from settings for specific printers and try to focus on the AutoCAD settings because the printers throw in a whole nother set of variables. Most of the AutoCAD settings will be the same regardless of the printer type and model, but there will be some variances for each printer and plotter. You kind of have to play with them until you get it right for your device. But there are four main settings to keep in mind when you're printing a drawing. The printing device itself, the paper size, the area to be printed, and the scale to be printed to. So let's look at an example file here. Let's add some color to the mix. Go to the chapter 13 section, and let's open up the color wheel, C-O-L-O-R-W-H dot D-W-G. Now this file here was put together by Autodesk themselves, and it demonstrates the many different colors that are available to you in AutoCAD. Now if you have a black and white printer, it's going to only print black and white, and that's fine for what we're doing now. But if you have a color printer, you may want to see it. And if you get a new printer, a new color printer, and you want to test it out to see how well it handles all of the different colors, save this file and print it. Use it as a test print. It has two different main tabs on it, the true color that we just saw, and then the AutoCAD color index. This might be an interesting drawing to print out and hang up in your cubicle or your work area so that if you want to see what a color is going to look like, you can use this chart. It may or may not make any sense right at first, but it actually does. These colors here are your first nine main standard colors. The wheel here has the different variances on it. If you start with the number 86420135798 and then add one to it for this area. So this is color 19, 17, 15, 13, 11, etc. You get the idea. So these are pretty cool. There's a lot that you can do. Now you can print from anywhere in AutoCAD and at any size, meaning that either model space or paper space can be printed from. That's fine. It's suggested that you set up your drawing to be printed from paper space though, and I suggest that too. There are several ways to start the printing process, just like with everything else in AutoCAD. You can press Control P. That's a Windows setting. That will open up your plot window here and it tells you what you're plotting out or printing. True color, that's the name of the tab. You can also type in the word plot. You can type in the word print. You can come up to the quick access toolbar and click on the plot button. You can come here to the application manager and go to the print button and you can plot, batch, plot, plot preview. We'll look at some of these a little bit later but you can see what I'm talking about here. AutoCAD calls it plot preview, edit plot styles, even batch plot or plot, but it starts off with the print button. So both words or terms are fine for what we're trying to do. Which way is better to start the plot command? I don't know. Um, I'll typically do control P because I'm a keyboard guy, but you can do whatever you want. But all of it gets you to the same spot. Oh, another way you can also do it is to go down to the tab that you're on, right click and pick plot. So you have so many different ways to print from AutoCAD. It's crazy. So as you can see in our plot window here, there are several different settings. 
this button here that I even clicked just by habit expands out and gives you even more control. So you may or may not want to do that. These are some more advanced settings. I typically leave it open because I'm at work. I'm constantly messing with these settings because I need different things to print. But that's all up to you and how you're going to print and what you need to print. Okay, so we start off by a lot of different things. We see here with the printer or the plotter. This is what you're printing to. You can print to several different devices. These are the ones that are available to me. I can set it to print to none, but then it won't print. But the reason you might want to set it to none is if you're sending your CAD file to someone else who has a different printer. Because when you open up a CAD file and it has a wrong printer or one that's unavailable to you, you get this error message that says, hey, uh, I can't find the printer, I'm freaking out, I don't know what to do. You know, So that's one reason why you want to set it to none. If you have different programs on your computer, like I have Snagit, OneNote, PDF Writer, etc., a lot of these things you can print directly to their file format. If you have a fax machine, you can print it to fax. This is my main printer here. That is an 8.5 by 11 black and white and color inkjet printer. You ha can have your default Windows system printer, whatever that may be. And it comes with AutoCAD here, this DWF, DWFX, PDF, and JPEG and PNG. That means AutoCAD naturally can print to these different types of file formats. A lot of times you'll print to a PDF or a DWF because you have to send them to a client for review who doesn't have AutoCAD and all they want is the drawing. Or a lot of times if you have to submit work for permits to a government agencies, they'll require a PDF or a DWF. Those things are great for discussion purposes, and it gives someone a hard copy so that they don't have to mess with AutoCAD. Maybe they don't know how, or maybe they don't even have access to the software, but you can send them that type of image file. So regardless of the type of drawing that you want to print to, if it's paper or if it's electronic, you have a lot of choices that come with AutoCAD. So that's your first pick right there, is to find your printer. Let's print to a PDF. And now every printer that you make will have a properties button. You can click it, and again, you see there are more and more properties to choose from. Paper size, graphics settings, etc. You can even change media types. So if you have a printer that really needs to print to a mylar or a vellum instead of a bond, Pay type of paper, you can change those types of settings there. I know you may be feeling overwhelmed and you want to just print, so we're going to try to just get to it. 